what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Hello everybody, this is Bulldozer and thank you for giving me your time and thank you for watching another one of my videos. Before we get started, please consider using my code Mr. Bulldozer Gaming. You can see it there on the center of your screen, also in the lower left hand corner. If you do use my code, please send me a picture that looks like this over on Twitter. And it shows what you purchased as well. In the bottom it says this purchase helps support Mr. Bulldozer Gaming. Not only will you receive a shout out in a future video, I'm also going to add your name down in the description. As well as a YouTube channel if you have one. And that way, you're not only you're getting a shout out in a video, you're also going to get a shout out for your YouTube channel. And when I do receive a payout from Epic Games, I will be given back in a giveaway. So, depending on what the uh, payout is, will depend on how much the giveaway is. So, you have a chance for V Bucks or a skin, the winner will have their pick. So, again, please consider using my code Mr. Bulldozer Gaming. As I got on this morning to get warmed up and get ready for this week's challenges. I saw something strange folks now this was a challenge for week four and I still had not got this challenge done yet and the main problem I had with this challenge was that every time people got close to the gas pumps they would shoot them and blow them up so I could not get this challenge completed and apparently I was not the only one that had this problem because when I got on this morning to warm up and took a look at my challenges I saw something strange and this is what I saw they have gone and changed the challenge now you do not, no longer have to shoot a gas pump and explode it and deal damage to an opponent now you just have to destroy a gas pump in different matches but nobody knew this so this had to happen during the last patch or last slash last update we had a day or two ago but we don't know because they no longer give us patch notes and this is part of the reason why so many people are mad one of the leakers has actually started a petition because of all this and because it's just absolutely insane the people that actually help their game that helps them sell their skins lets the people know what's coming out in the future they're hurting it's it's just absolutely crazy it's just absolutely crazy one more thing before we get started here real quick uh, I'm a, a uh, Call of Duty player I've been playing Call of Duty for years I score hundreds a thousand of XP in multiple games scored over 600,000 XP in Black Ops 4 I have a chart that I put together and that's how I do this folks if anybody's interested in this chart let me know um, I just have to figure out how to get it to you. Here's some pictures so you see what I'm talking about. Here is here, here is the chart that I put together for this season for Modern Warfare. You can see all the red numbers. As I play and unlock um, the guns and see what the camos requirement are, I take and update this chart. You see this here, the M4, uh, how I, I'm almost got it done. You see that blue there? I do every um, camo except for one kill on a camo you see here I've got 163 camos unlocked out of 3737 camos it's how many camos you have to unlock to complete every camo in the game here's all the challenges that you have to do for the mission slash challenges however you want to look at it so if you're interested in this let me know um, cause I, I do know there is some Call of Duty people that play uh, Fortnite as well and I'll figure out how to get that to you but as the, as to the gas pump um, challenges being changed there is a total of six locations I'm gonna show you five of those locations coming out of the battle bus being that you have to do these in um, different matches actually, different matches what, what kind of language is that different matches and um, did I not just say it again but anyway um, the last two there are ones on one side of the bridge and ones on the other side of the bridge so it really doesn't make sense to go into a totally different match I'm gonna show you both of those they're towards the top of the map but again um, you do have to do these in different uh, matches so let's go ahead and get started again epic please give us our patch notes back because you're making everything a whole lot more complicated for you and I would assume you're probably losing players over this as well because people are just getting fed up dealing with a lot of the BS 
that um, you're putting them through and, and you just just go to YouTube and you can see all of it and just look at the situation that happened the other day with Nick Merckx Ninja and I don't, don't know who else was playing with them where uh, they had a 25 point game stolen from them a 25 point game was stolen from them and I believe that was taken it was taken um, out of the the running for the tournament if I'm not mistaken I could be incorrect about that but I saw the video and they went from a 25 point game to zero it was totally taken away from them and it was never given back you need to get your system fixed and it needs to be fixed now let's get started okay our first gas station is going to be south of the farm you can see it right there you can see the bridge follow that road just south of the farm to the left of the bend in the water there's a truck in front of this house it's got a chest on it you can also hit it I'm gonna land on top of the building here because sometimes there is a rifle up there but unfortunately it was a shotgun this time so I'll go ahead and hit the chest also but there is the grenade over there of course it's going to bounce off but the second one will do the job so there's our first one we'll go ahead and move on to our next location first I'll show you again this is south of the farm that is first of five locations our next gas pump location is going to be to the left of Holly Hedges Again, as a reminder, there will be five jumps from the battle bus. The sixth location is located next to the fifth jump. Here's Holly Hedges. You want to go to the left, and you can see the yellow trim of the building. I am going to show you. Just in case some people might ask, there is two sets of the gas pumps that do not blow up. No, if you blow up the second set, it does not count. We'll go ahead and move on to our next location after we see this on the map. Again, to the left of Holly Hedges. There's the full view. Now this one's going to be to the right of the farm. It's kind of like in a little dip. Again, we got a shotgun. It's always best to lay on top of the building because there's not always a weapon inside. That's going to complete our challenge. See, there was actually no weapon inside there. And you can see we actually have another shotgun right there. That's location number four. Again, to the right of the farm. Look at the map overhead. Check out the map overhead. Now we're going to move on to location number four, and this is going to be Salty Springs. This is located on the lower part of the road. Again, you can see the houses up top with the street going up through the houses. This is going to be located on the road that runs along the bottom. You can see the back side of the gas station right there, right above the white dot.
again to always land on top of the building. In this case we actually have a chest inside here. Which makes it a little easier. Make sure you get back so you don't take no damage. Get some cover. This is going to be location number four in Salty Springs. And we are going to move on to location number five now. And location number five is going to be located south of Craigie Cliffs where the bridge is. You can see the bridge right here and just to the right of the bridge you can see the top of the building there is the location of the gas station. And as you get close you can see the gas station sign. The pumps are a little hidden. Being I'm just showing you the location of it, really don't need to worry about no ammunition or anything, but there's a weapon there. Or a weapon rather, but there is a weapon there. So that is blown up. So you can see right there, there's Craigie Cliffs. And here's the location of the gas station. Blow that up. So you can see the exact location. It just so happens that the circle is here, which makes it easier for us to go to the other location, which is located in Pleasant Park. And as I go across here, I realize there is a chest in this truck. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this chest. Because again, the circle is at this location. Now this gas station here, it does have a build location in it. So you can upgrade your weapon. Or an upgrade station. I don't know why I called it a build location. Upgrade station. So if you're going to go to this location, you might as well go ahead and get you some materials, get you some weapons. But at the same time, being that this is going to be um, getting out there, I'm sure other YouTubers are going to be putting this out there. You're going to want to um, get there as soon as you can because you can shoot these from a far distance. You don't need to be right up on it. If you've already got your weapon, you know, you can shoot this from a distance. You do not need to be at the location. I'm just at the location for video purposes. All right, here's the upgrade station. Get behind here for cover. Always better safe than sorry. And again, right here we are in Pleasant Park. And I'm going to blow this up so you can see where the other one is. Right there was the other one. Now look at the blue marker and look where I'm at. So you can see how close these two are together. So really for overhead, you're coming out of the battle bus, you're going to really come out of the battle bus in the same location. And now as you can see that the dockyard deal is 100% complete. So again, unless you um, found it out here, or I'm guessing you are because you're watching this video, now you can go complete this challenge because Epic Games is not telling us anything anymore. And really, with the state of these developers that they are in, you look at Blizzard, you looked at Activision, Epic Games does not want to fall in this category right now. These developers are catching a ton of backlash. I mean, look at the makers of Fallout 76. I mean, it's insane. Australia just, just a court came down on them and are forcing them to issue refunds. I understand it's another country, but still. The developers need to cross their T's and dot their I's right now. You know, it's still going through Congress, but we already, I think it's Congress, in regards to the whole loot box situation. And I think that's the whole reason why Call of Duty is not doing 
um, the loot boxes as they said they was going to but again we'll find out how that's going to pan out in December because there's no more DLC and everything all the maps and everything are free so we'll find out in December how they're making their money but uh, again Epic Games you need to start being up front with your players the way you used to be you know if you don't want to wait if you want to wait until the updates come out and then release your patch notes that's fine that kind of makes sense in a way because you don't want people to know what might be in that update until the update comes out fine dandy I mean I can understand that but still come on get your act together because with all the issues all these games are having right now you want to give players a reason to play your game you don't want to give players a reason not to play your game I'm just saying this is the bulldozer thank you for your time I really do appreciate it get your killing on and I'm out of here thank you for watching I really do appreciate it if you found this video helpful please smash that like button subscribe to the channel for more content here's some more videos you might be interested in including the Fortnite playlist I upload videos for Fortnite Call of Duty Modern Warfare as well as Ghost Recon Breakpoint again thank you for giving me your time this is the bulldozer get your killing on and I'm out of here